Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Radio. So it looks like LeBaric, Destiny's ex-husband, is finally selling the house that their marital house that they had. Um, he gave her a year under the divorce uh, decree to stay in there. And then after that, she's out. You know, they said Destiny was in there hiding, you know, staying in there, even though there were for sale signs on the uh, lawn and stuff like that. But yeah, so um, uh, Chris Fletcher is actually the realtor that's selling the house, which is kind of messy in itself, you know. So they had an open house today, Sunday, January 29, uh, 2020 three between one and three so it's a nice house five bedroom five bath three car garage you know and they're selling it for four hundred ninety nine thousand and nine hundred dollars so if you guys are in huntsville or looking to move go ahead and contact chris fletcher um but yeah so uh this all comes after destiny you kind of spilled some tea on her divorce and why she couldn't talk about it she also called mel fake for bouncing back from her divorce so quick and just addressed some of the stuff that uh, melody was saying about her um, she also claps back at Carlos King for calling her difficult. So I'm going to let you guys hear what Destiny had to say. But before that, make sure you guys subscribe to the uh, channel, hit the like button, and stay tuned for more content from Empress Radio. Okay, so this is what Destiny had to say. I mean, hey, people been hurt. You think it hurt to be divorced with a three-week-old baby? That hurt too, but I, I'm not trying to make nobody else hurt. So that's a, that's a, I mean, everybody's different though. Thank you. What's going on with Key? I need a spin off. I'm telling you. They're talking about, you know, I don't reveal much and, you know, there's a story to be told. It's so much story to be told. Maybe it's too much. People don't want to do the fact that she's honest. I mean, I feel like I'm sometimes honest to a fault because I, I really believe that people like fake. I really believe people like fake. They, um, you know, after you come out of a divorce and you're rebuilding your life, nobody comes back with a brand new house and <laughs> uh, especially when they file bankruptcy, let's be clear. Nobody comes back with a brand new house and a million dollars. It just don't work that way. The reality of it is that you have to build yourself back up. Um, and then with a small child and all those things too, it, or, or multiple kids, I can only imagine how hard that was, but show the real don't 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 have people feeling like you know it's that easy because it's really not it's really not people are starting to like the fake more and more these days and the gaslighting and all of that stuff is just it's mm. no, no no i didn't file for bankruptcy y'all do y'all research yeah i know who, what 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 um castmates file for bankruptcy Y'all moving so fast, I can't even answer these questions. Did you see the interview with Carlos and Dustin talking about you? I did not. Can you explain the money Mel gifted to you? For the hundredth time, Mel decided that she wanted to be a good friend in the moment and she sent it to my, was it Cash App or PayPal? I think it was PayPal because we had did some business dealings and she already had the account. So it was like her making a nice gesture as a friend, something that I didn't ask for, something I said I wanted to actually give back, but I felt like it was a, a gift from the heart in the moment. Did I really, really need it in the moment? Um, I wouldn't say yes, and I wouldn't say that I wasn't appreciative of it because I really, really was. I mean, I was building, I was using my savings. I was doing the things that I, I did, I know how to do to survive. So I never negate the fact that it, it, was, a, um, it was a sweet gesture in the moment, but now looking back i feel like because what they did cut out of the reunion was when i said you know you came to my house you knew what was going on then you asked me about you know the whole legal thing that i was going through and then you said in that same breath that we weren't good so if we weren't good why would you even offer why would you even do that so okay baby it was almost like was it a setup was it a setup um to be able to say well i did it for you in your time of need so yeah wrong with helping a friend i helped her too so what they did cut out was that you know i was saying you know because when you file bankruptcy you're not just um bouncing back and, and doing things like i just said so when you know when said friend you know car kept breaking down i was the one that was picking her up you know and it was a bonding thing to, for us too because we both had you know small children our children are our young her youngest and mine are six months apart it yeah yeah five to six months apart so you know when that when her car would break down and i'll have to pick her up i had errands that i needed to finish and so did she so we did it together 
I talked about that at the reunion. I also talked about when it completely broke down and I had to be the one to use my credit to uh, rent cars because she couldn't. Because you can't when you have bankruptcy and you don't have a credit card. And also when you owe them because you didn't return cars, like, or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, people were like, oh, you shouldn't tell stuff. I mean, the real is the real. This is what happened. You know, like the real is that she was a friend to me in a moment and decided that just listening to me and what I was going through, that she wanted to gift me um, something. And I was appreciative of it, but also don't make it a one-sided thing because it wasn't. And people keep saying that she has her guard up from being hurt and pushing people away is unintentionally. I, I feel like I agree with that to a certain extent, but you're going to be really alone. I mean, God didn't design us to be on an island by ourselves. That's why it's a thing called humanity, because we all need each other. We're all going to need somebody at one point in time. And, um, you know, this is the rea reality of it. If it. Even if it's just emotional support, even if it's a babysitter with, you know, I'm here at my, my, my best friend's house from almost, shoo, oh, telling tell my age, but it's over 20 some years. But we, I mean, we ain't never had no issues like that I've experienced with this, this, to this level. I've never had it. I've never had it at all. And they seen the good, the bad, and ugly with Destiny. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, for real, for real. Thank and you. so we're still here. You know, it's you can have conflict and um, disagreements, but there should be resolution if you value that person. That's just what it is. You learned 10 things about Mel and zero about me. So let me run it down. Y'all seen that I talked about my mom being on drugs. I talked about that on, on the show. I talked about her still fighting the battle. I talked about my father having to adopt, uh, not adopt me, but fight for custody of me. That was in the scene with Tiffany and I. I've talked about um, my dad being uh, sick. That didn't make it. That was edited out. Um, he actually told me on camera that he was sick. And I didn't know until after you know we finished that episode that he had cancer. I didn't know that. You've also seen me as a celebrity and a person that's a, a public figure tell that I was on public assistance. How many people are going to keep it that real? Um, Y'all made that to be a lie, saying, oh, you got a PPP loan. If you're smart, you know that public assistance and your business are separate. And then two, I wasn't referring to a PPP loan. I said, no, I'm not referring to that. I was referring to public assistance. And because... I'm an honest person, regardless of what y'all want to feel or think. And you know a lot about me. You know that I've been singing and acting for a long time. I've talked about that. So um, y'all can say what y'all say. But because I didn't say, oh, this is what happened in my divorce. And this is this and this is that. Y'all feel like y'all don't know about me. But my intent was to, you know, leave my situation intact where I can look at my son and say, I didn't trash somebody because I was hurt or I was angry. So that's more important to me. And that I do tell my story in a way that it is beneficial to other people and can be safe and not toxic. And that's where I'm at. Most of my cast members have said you are difficult to work with. <laughs> and Carlos. Well, I've never worked with Carlos as far as production of a show. He, he has produced um, Love and Marriage Huntsville and then he, like he said, he doesn't have to be there. So I've never worked with Carlos directly. When you say someone's difficult because they don't want to say certain things in scenes or certain things that I can't talk about legally and there's no protection for me if I do. Um, because again, if you, it's public knowledge. As much as y'all dig up my licenses and go through all this, y'all could have saw my divorce decree. It's public knowledge. Y'all can see all the motions that have been filed against me from my ex-husband. It's public knowledge. So everything that is supposedly a lie, y'all can refute in black and white. And at the end of the day, like if I have, if I agree to not speak about my ex-husband on Love and Marriage in Huntsville, if I do, then I'm held in contempt of court. Do you know what that means? That means I go to jail. I'm not going to jail for none of y'all. So my storyline ain't worth me going to jail. And if y'all think that I was supposed to just, you know, regurgitate all of that stuff because y'all felt like it was deserving because I'm on a reality show, y'all can really kiss, you know what. Cause ain't none one of y'all gonna be there to bail me out and take care of my baby. So it is what it is. Um, when you were going going through the divorce and you know you had decided not to really talk to anyone about it, you know you told Melody afterward. <laughs> no, 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 no,
and I hate to keep talking about her interviews, but she was there throughout my divorce and knew vivid details of what I was dealing with. The only thing that was not disclosed was the day that I signed my papers. That's it. Okay. Okay. Just for everybody. Okay. Else, for everybody. We got else. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Are you going to be friends with somebody not telling you going through a divorce and then be expecting it? No, no, no. No, no, no. That was the case. Yeah. Okay. No, thank you. That's because, I mean, that is a big factor like, <laughs> in all of this. So it makes sense. But even, you know, did you feel like if you came out on the show with it, like if you talked about it when you, you know, at that time that you weren't ready, did you feel like they would have tried to make that the focal point of, of the rest of, you know, the show or the season or even going into that and you just didn't want that? Or did you even trust that process really, really? I'm just trying to go through the thought process for you when you were trying to decide, or was it always sort of like an immediate no? It was for me, um, and then I didn't want to be like, hey, we're going to do your divorce, and then we're back to get, like, I, for me, it was just. It, oh, she might be getting A lot of the process that I went through was not while we were filming. So some of it was, we came back into the fold, and it was just like, ugh, I don't know. For me, it just felt right to just go through that pro go through that process in that period with God and myself and my son. Yeah, and that's fair. I mean, that like you different. You signed up for yeah, real. Like, oh, we supposed to know your birth certificate, your blood type. Um, <laughs> we supposed to have all that information. You can't leave nothing out. You signed up for reality TV. I'm like, who wrote this blueprint? Please show it to me. Where is it at? I know, I know, but I mean, I think also like as a viewer, that's that's what I wanted to know. Like watching that, like, oh, you know, I wonder why like she felt that way. Did she not trust y'all? <laughs> like, or you know, is she? You know, a lot of times I feel like I have friends who I love dearly, but I am just like that. I have friends twenty five plus years, fifteen years, and they all, even my cousin, we grew up together. She she says this to me to this day. Ugh, I hate you so the private. Like, just tell me, and I'm like, I, I'm gonna tell you when I'm ready. Right, I got a process. I'm like that. <laughs> As okay, so you guys heard what Destiny had to say, and she's such a combative person. On the very last clip was the interview that she did where someone was asking her about Melody and stuff, and she's just so combative, you know? But what do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye.